Howdy guys, how we doing? We are back again finally in Westland Survival. How we doing guys? I hope you guys are all well. Man, you take a week off um, from playing Westland or recording Westland and you feel like you've just, you know, you have no idea what's going on. It feels a lot longer than a week so I do apologise and I thank you guys for being patient with waiting for the next video of Westland. I did do a whole week worth of another game that I really enjoy playing. It is a PC game, so if you guys really wanted to sort of check that out, um, it's Seven Days to Die, um, survival game, of course. Really love doing myself uh, survival games, as you guys very know well. So um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Just wanted to extend my apologies, and I do apologize for not being um, active with community base and all that sort of good stuff. So um, here we are anyway. What we're going to do is just a couple of little bits and pieces, let you know what I've been up to with Westland as well during the week that I had off, but also I wanted to get in the Friday FAQ that came out a few days ago. So um, let's get into it. I've got it right here in front of me. So it has been a while since the last Friday FAQ and I'm not too sure when the last time that was. It probably would have been at the beginning of the year potentially. And so with that being said, We'll go through some of the standard stuff. So, you know, a lot of it's all repetitive. A few things I really want to point out as well and sort of talk to you guys about, but I'm just going to go through them. So it has, um, what, what have we got here? Um, okay, so first question is, I have a fishing rod. Where can I use it? Where can I go to catch some fishes? There is no ability to do so yet. This is the answer. But we will introduce it to the game one day. It won't happen anytime soon though. So hopefully this will be a question that will stop being asked, I guess. I know it's a very sought after question and people really want to know and ask that, but it is what it is. Um, where can I find axles? Axles are not in the game yet. They will become available as soon as we finish working on the wagon mechanics. And this is a rather complex matter to process. So yeah, there you go, there you have it. So unfortunately, um, it, it's going to take some time for that to happen, so it is what it is. When do the bandit camps get reset? They do not get reset. The only exception is the outdoor stopover, which gets reset once a week. It's pretty standard. Uh, what about neighboring ranches? Do they ever get reset? For now, they do not. But we are going to make it possible for you to get rewards for raiding neighboring ranches on a regular basis in the nearest future. Are you intrigued by that? I certainly am. So that's one of the things I sort of wanted to touch on, but I'm going to keep going with the Q&A &A and we're going to circle back. There are far too few tier 4 resources. You got too hard to obtain them. Will this change? Yes, it will. We received a lot of requests to make it a bit easier, um, at least a bit easier, sorry, to get tier 4 resources and we decided to make it happen. Awesome. So I don't know if that's happened. I don't think that's happened just yet. But anyway, um, tell us something about. Uh, sorry, tell us something cool about the upcoming version. Any interesting new features in the next version of the game? So tell us something cool about the upcoming version. Any interesting new features in the next version of the game? You will see part of the locations have been reworked. They will be changing with time, making it even more interesting to visit them. Doesn't that sound awesome? What are you working on now? Our current main focus are tutorial, plot, and events. Please note that the changes regarding these matters won't come anytime soon, but we are eager to make the game more exciting to both newcomers and veterans of Westland. And a bit of storytelling wouldn't hurt nobody. So there we have it. So that's basically the FAQ for the Friday that had just passed. So a couple of little, little things I want to roll through with you guys. First thing let's get out of the way is the neighboring ranches. So while we're talking about this, I just quickly wanted to um, do a little bit of upgrading whilst we're sort of having a chat. And I think it'll be like a little good segue to, you know, um, basically have a chat, talk about it and um, you know, discuss everything in between. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little, um, you know, mindless, um, what do you call it, uh, upgrading. Anyway, so neighboring zone. So basically we're, what we're thinking or what they're insinuating is that 
our NPC bases that we have in the overmap should hopefully come to some sort of reset or will have the flexibility or the ability for us to actually go ahead and up, um, sorry, raid um, on a regular basis. Now, there's obviously no word on how that will actually happen and what the um, what their thought process will be involved. But hopefully, this will be something that we can sort of. Um, oh, I ran out of shale. Um, hopefully, this will be something that we can actually. Um, you know, utilize in the future updates. So we don't know exactly how it's going to work, what the implementation will be, but I guess that's something that we can sort of, you know, theorize, speculate, and do all, all that sort of good stuff. So <clears throat> they did say um, rewards. So they're going to uh, provide us some sort of reward level type thing. Now, I don't know exactly what that's going to um, completely entail, but I think, you know, it's going to be um, hopefully something worthwhile. Now, I don't know whether or not it's going to involve any sort of bandits or anything like that. That, I don't think it's going to sort of happen, but I would like to think there might be something, you know, along the line that's going to obviously make things worthwhile um, for everyone. So, I hope, you know, you guys will sort of get a little bit out of that as much as I will. Um, the next part that we sort of want to focus on here is... Uh, there are the few tier 4 resources and it's going to happen soon. Now, we don't know what type of an abundance that they're going to open up tier 4 resources. I'm assuming for the longest time now, a lot of a lot of you people would hopefully would have most of everything upgraded. For me personally, the only thing I haven't really upgraded is all of my storage capacities. Um, to the tier 4 status. Now, I haven't done that yet, so it is what it is, but I'm sort of, I guess, working my way towards that, <clears throat> but I haven't really gotten that far, and I, I guess I really should in a way, and this would sort of, you know, help out in such a way that, especially when I'm wanting to um, upgrade or change my base, which I'm still doing, it is still on the cards, I just haven't really gotten around to do it. What I sort of wanted to do was sort of um, get my... Um, my perimeter all done and then you know sort of take it from there but again I don't know whether or not that's wasting time I have no idea but I feel like I should probably do that anyway so long as I, I get the front uh, for, uh, front facing I should say up to um, at least uh, tier 3 um, uh, durability walls so that's where I'm sort of at, at at the moment so I just want to get it up to stone and then we'll sort of go from there I guess but yeah, so tier 4 resources, hopefully we'll get a little bit more come through and if that's the case then at least this way I haven't got that much to sort of do I guess in upgrades and if I get a lot more coming through then at least this way this will sort of expedite uh, what I need to do and if I get enough uh, storage this should limit my um, need for chests and then arguably the layout of my base because um, let's face it, there's a lot of ch uh, loot rooms that a lot of people do, I do that myself, and also um, it's, well, it basically just fills your base out, that's, that's the biggest problem, and especially if you keep upgrading those chests, and I know for a lot of new, newer play players, um, you know, excluding the veterans here of course, now I'm not too sure when this would have happened, to be honest, I can't really honestly remember, but anyway, um, there is a, a capping limit on how many um, free loading chests that you can actually have on your base so for a lot of people that's um, a, a real um, a, a bit of a snag and I think this is why a lot of people have turned to asking the developers to um, make tier 4 resources a lot more readily available for things like this so I'm guessing this is probably the reason why and they sort of made that decision based upon um, player feedback and suggestions and all that sort of good stuff so I'm thinking that's probably the reason uh, behind it. Um, I mean, look, I could be wrong, but I think that would probably be along the lines anyway. I'm just going to take that. Um, so, with that being said, um, we are on to the next part. So, tell us something cool about the upcoming version. Well, didn't I say this a little while back? That it's going to happen in drips and drabs, or in some sort of way, shape or form. If you go back to some of my previous uh, videos about this subject, I did go in a bit of a rant and talk about this and and I've sort of, you know, given off my impressions of what I feel and what I think 
will happen with the base, or not base, sorry, zone redesigns. Whether they do them all in one sweep, which I highly would have doubt that, or would they focus on one by one in terms of the zones, or maybe a couple here and there, or would they do a, um, a certain amount, but they do minor changes to sort of make them a little bit different. Now, I'm thinking that would have been the case. So that's basically it. So they're going to be reworking a lot of um, the zones, basically. Um, and so with that being said, um, they will be changing with time and making it even more interesting to visit them. So it does sound like they're really trying to make a, um, a positive change to the game. And <clears throat> in this way, they want to give us fresh zones and I think we're completely due for them if you don't mind me saying so um, the game has been out well over for over what maybe over a year maybe getting close on to two years old I'd imagine um, let's say maybe a little bit longer than 18 months old I'd imagine that this game has been out for so so with that being said I think it's <clears throat> excuse me high time for uh, the game to have a bit of a fresher look and I think it sort of comes at a good time and at least this way, once that's all been done, when you think about it, if they have gone through successfully, gone through all of the um, changes in the game in its current state, well, where else do they have to go? They don't really have much else to sort of do um, until they sort of go through game expansion, and that's what I'm hoping for. So what I'm hoping is what they do is essentially they have upgraded the game to a point where they can't do anything else aside from physically going for a full um, uh, big release where they announce new zones, new things, possibly new mechanics, possibly even the wagon. They just say it is going to be a far time away, so I would think that doing it the way that they're doing, they're just going to sort of upgrade to, um, to sort of appease everyone as it is, which, look, will... Will everyone like it? Probably not. Will some people? Will? I would think so. And I'm one of those people in that sort of, um, you know, in that little um, wagon, I guess. Um, you know, non, no pun intended, I guess, but you know, I think that's pretty much where we're sort of looking at and what the um, projection of where the game is sort of headed. There's no official um, developer timeline or roadmap or anything of that nature, but at least it's good to know that they are actively giving us information so we can actually, you know, sort of have that on our own, um, within our own thoughts, really. And hopefully, eventually, we shall get, you know, the updates shortly, whatever that might be. But like I said, I'd like to think with the zones in mind that it's going to happen, you know, in drips or drabs. I don't think they're going to do a whole complete re-zone design. I think it's just going to be too, too much you know, in a short amount of time. So I think they're just gonna do a minor release here and there, just keep people interested, and hopefully they sort of go um, with that sort of notion there. That's my my honest opinion. And I, I'd like to think that's where, where it's get, sort of gonna be like, um, where it's gonna lie. So for you guys, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about that? Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have your own um, uh, opinions about it? What are your own theories about this? Uh, let me know in the comments. i really like for you guys to sort of have a bit of a discussion about it. Uh, the more, the better, of course. Um, more ideas, differences, things like that. And you know what? Even if the developers watch my videos, I'm not too sure if they do, mind you, by the way. So again, that's just something, you know, to sort of um, think about. But if they do, if they see the discussion that we have here actively, hopefully they might even take some of that on board and to some sort of consideration. So, you know, why not? So let's hope that they sort of do take that upon themselves to sort of check out my videos. And if they do, fantastic. If not, look, it is what it is. But even if you take some of the some of this information that I have and put you know and talk about it in the discord or even on the Facebook page uh, the community pages and things like that at least that way you guys will have an active dialogue that we can sort of work from and at least this way we can get a general discussion around it. and I'm sure through some of those mediums that we're gonna get some traction from the developers now who knows if they're actually gonna you know have a chat to us directly about it I doubt that but 
I would think that they would actually have um, a minor look in and see, and at least this way they can sort of check out what we've actually, you know, talking about, discussing, things like that. Now, I'm going to go over to a zone where I feel that they're going to do an update or rework to, hopefully soon, the abandoned mine. I would think that they can really expand on this zone so much. Right now, it's really nothing. If you really, really want to be honest about it, it is a zone that they dropped in and they're talking about reworking some of the locations or part of the locations have been reworked. So they say that has, I, I didn't even think about that earlier. They use it in, in that sort of phrase, so that it has been reworked. So are they ready with an update very soon? Who knows? I think that could be the case or it could be a update that they're ready to go with or are they referring back to the zones that they've reworked. I would like to think it's going to be future um, updates with newer zo uh, with refreshed and rehashed zones but I would like to think that this zone will get an update sooner rather than the other ones and only because it's just a, a zone that is I reckon to me is a placeholder. It's a placeholder zone, it's a pretty standard zone not a lot that's going on. Some okay resources in here that you can get from, um, which is not bad, don't get me wrong, but I think that this zone here um, could use with a decent upgrade. And hopefully they would sort of utilize what they did in the, um, in the basic forest, where you can actually get yourself um, into a tunnel based zone. Um, I've shown it a few times on my on some of my videos. You definitely go ahead and check um, the redesign um, video. I might even link it within this video somewhere. I'm not too sure yet, but anyway, um, to sort of check it out and bring it into context, um, they develop like a little tunnel, like a little cave, and that right there, they have the capacity to make a cave for the abandoned mine, or let's say, quote unquote, an actual mine shaft or something like like that to that extent. I would like to think that they can do that and I would think they would be able to do that. But my concern is they need to sort of make it on a, on a larger scale. So they need to make it a, another zone within a zone, if that makes sense. It can't be like a little like a little area that we can sort of run, run around in and we're done within about a minute or two. You know, I'm not saying, you know, spirit cave length or anything like that, by no means I mean, um, you know, to that extent or anything like that. Maybe, possibly, half a one spirit cave zone. I think that would be sufficient. I think that'll be a good way of, you know, taking on this zone and giving it a little bit more than what it has right now. That's my opinion. Maybe the possibility of finding things like dynamite down there, I don't know. But again, this is just something that can be always added and tweaked into the game. The main concern that I have is the way that they're going to sort of address it and sort of approach it. So I'm hoping something like that they'll be able to address, um, you know, in a coming update. But who really knows at this point? So yes, I, I have been rambling on a little bit about the zone redesign, but I feel like that it's going to be an important update for the game and for um, proper progression into the game as well. So. If they don't do that, then what are they doing? That's basically where I sort of look at it. And that's only because if they keep doing little bits and pieces here and there and they're not polishing what they've already got, then, you know, the game's just going to be forever in an endless, endless loop. So I feel like if they polish what they've got and upgrade those zones and redesign what we have already, there's basically no other excuses to sort of hide, hide behind and then this will allow us to have further expansion into the game. But again, we don't know what their timeline is and what their thought processes are. Um, they're just giving us some basic Q&A things here and there that are commonly asked or always asked, I should say rather. And for now, this is all that we've sort of got to sort of play with. So look, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, you know, the, the little chat that we sort of have from time to time when it comes to the FAQs. Let me know in the comments what you think about everything. Um, I feel like, you know, it's always a subject of hot topic when we sort of have the FAQ and we actually have a, good, a bit of a good conversation happening. So we did that in the previous FAQ as well. So I'd like to do the same as a repeat for this one here. And hopefully you guys sort of get around it. So yeah, but otherwise, look, 
I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Like I said, um, a few things that we know that's not going to happen, a few things now that have sort of been put to bed, things like the fishing rod, the axles, it's going to take a while for this, uh, for those things to come through. It's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. So what can you do? Look, if you guys really want to, you know, try like a fishing mechanic, I do have a game that I'm currently playing at the moment. And completely, it's a completely indifferent survival game to what Westland is. I mean, we've got, um, what do you call it? We've got bandits here. We've got, um, you know, animals, spirit animals, all that sort of good stuff here. So there's a game called Winter Survival. And as, as the name suggests, it's all ice, frozen, everything, you name it. That it's exactly what it, what it sounds like. Um, to me, it's a little bit of a play on, on Game of Thrones, and you know what I mean, what I'm actually talking about, if you guys end up playing the game. If you guys are playing the game, please let me know in the comments, I'll be interested to know exactly where some of my player base is coming from as well. Is it just purely Westland, or do I have um, other players playing multiple games that I might, I'm actually playing myself and covering on the channel? So, again, let me know. But, um, they have recently just updated the game to allow fishing in the game. So. Um, I really want you guys to sort of um, jump into that if you guys really want to see what um, what fishing could be, what type of potential it could have um, within Westland. I mean, obviously it's going to be a different implementation to what um, the survival would have, but it's just something there that you guys can sort of look at, and if you guys want to um, play with it and engage in it, then you've got it there. So. I figure, why not, make a mention, let you guys know about it, and at least this way you guys make that decision if you want to check it out. So, Winter Survival, it's a great little um, startup game that's recently hit, so both available on Google Play and iOS, so definitely check it out. Completely new, something different, um, see what you think. I've got a few videos already on my channel, so at least this way this will give you guys a bit of a, an opinion on the game, check it out. If you feel that you want to jump onto it and play it yourselves, go right ahead but otherwise I think that's going to go ahead and do it I did want to do some mining of shale as you guys would have seen throughout the video um, I still need a hell of a lot more so job's not done yet anyway but I'm not going to bore you any further with what I've just done today so I think it's probably a good time to go ahead and leave it here so once more thank you for watching everything that I've done so far I actually didn't mention I should have mentioned this a lot earlier in the video so I recently hit 2,000 subscribers um, a few days ago and I wanted to sort of hold back until it was pretty much cemented that I didn't want to sort of say as soon as I hit, um, as soon as the needle clicked over and went backwards, but I just wanted to make sure that I got an extra few just to make sure that it's there and it's, it is. So guys, from the bottom of my heart there, thank you so much for supporting the channel, doing what you're doing, whether it'll be just simply watching it and that's it whether you're liking it over and above, commenting down below, um, going far um, above and beyond and sharing my videos, or even, you know, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, everything else in between, making the channel where it's possible, where it's been now, where it is. Um, and look, thank you. That's all I can really say. Um, on to the next milestone, I guess. We're going to the next thousand, so... You know we've already started so hopefully I can get there a lot sooner than what I've done in um, and get into my 2000 sub so again guys thank you so much for um, for supporting me in doing everything that you do to make this channel what it is if it wasn't for you guys there wouldn't be much to this channel whatsoever so thank you anyway I'm gonna leave it on that note thanks for stopping by and I shall see you next time